Well, good morning. This is Pastor Jay with your Monday devotion. And you see behind me right now a rare sight uh, for the month of November, and that's those red pyramids. You don't usually see red on the altar um, during November, but that color is there because of my installation, and the color for a pastor's installation is red. And that's because red is the color of Pentecost. It's the color of power. And On the day of Pentecost, Jesus' followers were given the power uh, to go out and serve him, to proclaim the good news. And that's what you're hoping for me as your pastor. You want God's power, his Holy Spirit, to be in me and amongst us as we do ministry. And there's a great passage that this is related to, and it's in Acts chapter 2. And I'm just going to read the very beginning of it. It reads, When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. Now, those are all the the followers of Jesus at that time, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now you may remember from church that Uh, What they did on that day was not speaking in tongues as we normally think of it. That's where somebody's speaking a language you don't understand, and somebody's there to interpret it. We don't have a lot of that going on in the Lutheran church that I know of. Um, But this was a totally unique situation where they were given the ability to speak different world languages. Uh, People were gathered in Jerusalem from all over the world for the celebration of Pentecost. And so uh, they were given the ability to speak to them in their own language. Uh, so what's behind me today on the altar, you see there is the red of the pyramids. That's the, 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 the color of power. And there's also, on both ends, there's a flame. And that's the tongue as a fire that came down on the heads uh, of these disciples as they received the Holy Spirit. And then look there in the center, you'll see, let me get my finger over there, you'll see the dove coming down. Of course, the dove represents the Holy Spirit Um, We read that when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. And so that's why you see that symbol there. So when you come to church and you see the red pyramids, you know it's either an installation or it's Pentecost or it's Reformation Sunday. It's a time when we're lifting up the power of God uh, to rule his church and to change his church. Uh, Also the time when you want your leaders and uh, others in the congregation to have that gift of the Holy Spirit so that they can lead you in the right direction. So I pray for that in my ministry here at Christ the King. So let us have a prayer as we uh, conclude our time today. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit upon those first disciples. You gave them the power to do ministry. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would send the Holy Spirit on us. Help us, Lord, to do what we must do to help those in need and to share the good news with our friends and even with strangers. And Lord, we ask that every time we come to church and we see these red pyramids, that we'll be reminded of your power and the fact that you love us so much that you sent this power upon us so that we could do your work in the world and experience the joy that you bring. So Father, bless us this day and watch over us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Monday and a great week.